In this video, I'll be talking on the cancellation law in Congress. So let's write down the theorem to understand this law and then we'll take some example. It states if CA is congruent to CB modulo N, then A is congruent to B modulo N by D, where D is the GCD of C and N. So you can see that here I have, if I need to cancel the C, then we need to look at what is the GCD of C and N. See, now from here, we can have an obvious corollary from here that if the uh, GCD of C C and N is equal to 1, then automatically we can do the cancellation. So this means C is congruent to CB modulo N. This will imply that A is congruent to B modulo N. It will be very useful. Of course, in this circumstances, whenever we have the GCD of C and N is equal to 1, we can get immediately the cancellation law. But in case if the GCD is not equal to 1, then we need to reduce the integer which is inside this modulo condition also. Now let me to prove the general result which is the theorem and obviously the scrollery follows from the theorem directly. As given to us the condition is CA is congruent to CB modulo N. So this means we can write CA minus CB this is equal to some K times N or I can take C common this is A minus B is equal to K times N. And as we want to find out the GCD uh, this result so we have also given that let's consider D as GCD of C and N. So D is the GCD of C and N. And because D is the GCD of C and N, so D divides C and D divides N. And in this case, I can write C as some D times R and N as some D times S for some R and S belonging to integer. Now we can substitute this value here because we see that C is D times R and N is D times S. And obviously, the greatest common divisor D is already taken out. So from here, we can also note that the GCD of R and S is equal to 1. So when I keep this in mind, keeping R and S equal to 1, this C A minus B equal to K N, this simply reduces to R times A minus B equal to K into S. And noting that the GCD of R and S is equal to 1 and by Euclid's lemma, so I've talked about nuclear lemma in my some of earlier videos. So now applying this either R divides KS or we can say that S divides R times A minus B. So whichever way you can say that S divides R times A minus B. And because the GCD of R and S is equal to 1. So this implies that S divides A minus B. Or I can say that A minus B is equal to s times some q or I can say that a is congruent to b modulo s. So when we have s here, so look at what is the expression for s. From this, you can get the expression for s. So that means this is a is congruent to b modulo n by d. And this is what we desire to have. So whenever we have a cancellation law, this will hold that a is congruent to b modulo n by d. So look at the first example. We consider a congress 33 is congruent to 15 modulo 5, 9. And as we can see that 33 can be written as 3 into 11 and 15 can be written as 3 into 5 modulo 9. So if I want to cancel now this 3 from this side, but we notice that the GCD of this 3 and 9 is also 3. So this will become 11 is congruent to 5 modulo 3. So this will also get changed. Okay. And in the another example, we can see that if we have Congress minus 35 is congruent to 45 modulo 8. And in this case, we can write 35 as 5 into minus 7. And 45, we can write it as 5 into 9 modulo 8. And now in this case, the common term is 5 that we wish to cancel. But we notice that the GCD of 5 and 8 is equal to 1. So they are relatively prime. So this means minus 7 is congruent to 9 modulo 8. And here now this will remain as it is. So in fact, we divided it by GCD, but because the GCD is 1, so this integer has not changed, which is inside the model. And there is another remark that we have a properties in the real number. So whenever AB, uh, the product of two real numbers is equal to 0, so we say, either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 but such conclusion may not be true in the congruences so for example to give you a counter example here let me to consider an example we have 4 into 3 that is equal to 12 which is congruent to 0 modulo 12 so this is holding true but 4 is not congruent to 0 modulo 12 individually 4 is not or and also we can say and 3 is also not congruent to 0 modulo 
12. So this condition is holding in the real number, but it may not be necessary that it holds a in the congress also. And here is a counter example. So we just have to be careful while applying this in the congruences that whenever AB is congruent to 0 modulo n, this does not imply that A is congruent to 0 modulo n and B is congruent to 0 modulo n. But yes, except in the case of the prime. So when we consider that n is a prime, so in that case, let me to consider uh, n as p as a notation. And whenever a, b is congruent to 0 modulo p, so this means definitely either a is congruent to 0 modulo p or b is congruent to 0 modulo p. So this will hold. So in case of the prime, this result holds. But in case of the composite number, this result may not hold too.